I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't like this movie at all. It's just, eh. Anyways, on to the review. Um, so, welcome to Godzilla Go Super Weird and Dream Mode, aka Godzilla's Revenge, which there is no revenge in the name, so why is it called Godzilla's Revenge? The title makes no sense. Godzilla is really not any part of it. There's like three or four things of Godzilla. There's... I'd say there's less Godzilla than the 2014 Godzilla, but that's not true. We get a little bit more Godzilla. And we get one fight scene, which I honestly think they just copied and pasted from an older movie, because the Godzilla in the movie looks nothing like the back of the head of the Godzilla from the little shot from the fight. It's weird and... Usually I like corny, cheesy, weird, goofy movies, but this one, it, it's not even done well. Um, basically what it is, is Godzilla, there's this kid, he's being bullied by someone, and he dreams that, yes, I said dreams, he dreams that, um... Godzilla's son named Minya, which it was something back then because they were trying to make Godzilla more kid friendly, so they gave Godzilla a son and all this other stuff, like making the suit different looking and not menacing at all. Um, so, anyways, the dream. He dreamed that his Godzilla son was being bullied by a giant monster named Gabra, which I have no experience with the monster at all, so I don't know. I don't know if they just made him up for the thing, because the I'm pretty sure the kid's name, the kid who's bullying the kid is um, named Gabra, too. But, that I have not watched this movie in a while. I watched this in 2014, and I, when the original Godzilla movie was coming out, and I hated it then, and I hated it, and I still hate it now. I don't know why I still have it in my Godzilla movies at all. So, um, it's, and then Minya has to overcome his bully, and so does the child. And then for the rest, for like 10, 15 minutes, the movie turns into Home Alone. There's just... I really don't know. Well, Home Alone in a warehouse, basically. The There's this side plot of these um, burglars that broke into a bank and the kid found the money or something and it's just really dumb. It really has no need to be a Godzilla movie at all. Like, if it was a Godzilla movie, it's if it wasn't a Godzilla movie, it'd still be a bad movie. But, it wouldn't be as hated by me, and I wouldn't even know about it. So, <clears throat> but since it is a Godzilla movie, I'm not happy with it at all. And the voice acting for the English dubbing is terrible, and it feels like everyone just phoned it in, even the people who voice acted the burglars, which they have, like, a minuscule amount of time in it, really. The kid, should, they should have got someone a little bit better for the kid, because he has most of the speaking parts. Most of them. And when you have to deal with a monotone voice for 50 minutes, you don't want to deal with that. Like, I try to fluctuate my voice, try and do all this during my recordings. When So, yeah, I even know the basics of talking in a microphone. No, not this 
person. Rather, it was a child actor. They just found some random person on the street. Yeah, you can see how much I don't like this movie. Like, I hate it more than the 90s Godzilla movie. That 90s Godzilla movie. Which is okay. Like, that is why I said it was okay. Because I know there's worse Godzilla movies out there. Um... And on the flip side of that is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, which is a really good movie, Godzilla movie, which I will one day try and review. Like, for the most part, my reviews have been Godzilla movies. Anyways, um, so we get down to having all our, having a terribly, terrible voice acting. I never watched the, with Japanese subtitles because I haven't been able to watch the whole entire movie through for a long time, and the movie just, I struggle, like, I struggle to comprehend why they even came up with this idea for a Godzilla movie. It was, it's just the dream that the kid had, and it's more focused on the kid and then Minya. If they wanted to have a Minya movie, they could have just made it this kid and Minya instead of Godzilla's revenge which again Godzilla doesn't even get revenge in anything it's more the kid and this Godzilla's son over taking of um, conquering their problems with their bully so it's not that well done either so yeah anyways um, my name is JFS Projects. I hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> because it was just me shitting on a movie. That's really all it was. It was me destroying a movie that I hate. Like, I don't want to destroy a movie that I hate. I want to find something good, but in all honesty, there was there's nothing good with this movie. It is too cheesy for Godzilla. It doesn't even really fit as a Godzilla movie. It's like a bullying advertisement with Godzilla. So, other than that, yeah, I wouldn't watch this movie. Anyways, so I'm going to take a cue from one of my favorite reviewers. What is your favorite Godzilla movie? Um, in the comments, please. Speaking of that, I do like hearing input, so please leave comments. And like and subscribe and if you don't like this video please dislike it i'm not going to have a problem i will cry for five hours because i got one dislike but other than that no and i will see you guys friday with triple s